Welcome to Miss Sarah's Math Corner. In this video, we'll be discussing how to multiply decimal hundredths by a three digit number, a three digit whole number. So notice here that there are no decimals. That's another video. So as always, we're going to make our life as easy as possible. We're going to remove the decimal when we work with them. We're going to do our regular math like we would normally do without the decimal and then put the decimal back in later when we're ready. So just so there's not so much to keep track of. We're going to take our time with this and make sure everything is lined up beautifully. So let's erase the decimal. So we're going to pretend here we're working with the number 2978 times 124. And I have uh, bedazzled my 124 a little bit because, of course, I would like to show you the step-by-step -step process and what exactly the place value is that we're dealing with here. So I'm going to start with our uh, ones place. So we're going to multiply the top number by the number in the ones place, which in this case is a 4. So here we go. 8 times 4 is 32. Over at the top. 7 times 4 is 28, plus 3, 29, 30, 31. 4 times 9 is 36, plus 3, 39. And then 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3, 8, 9, 10, 11, there it is. Whatever strategy you'd like to use to add them together, like I, you can add them in your head. I do that sometimes. You can add them by counting. Um, whatever way works for you, it's the best way, right? So what we just did here is we multiplied the top number by the ones place. So now I'm actually going to get rid of the numbers I don't need to work with anymore. So I'm finished with all these numbers at the top. I'm finished with the number in the ones place. And then, of course, when I come down here to indicate that now I'm moving on to the number in the tens place, I'm going to put a zero here as a placeholder. I'm going to move on to the other color. So here we go, multiplying the next numbers by the two in the tens place. Same thing. <clears throat> so two times eight is 16. Two times seven is 14 plus one is 15. One, five. Two times nine is 18 plus one is 19. And then two times two is four plus one is five. All right, so now we just did our uh, top number multiplied by two in the tens place. All right, let's do the same thing. We're finished working with these, finished working with these. And here's where a lot of people get mixed up. But keep in mind that we're just doing the same thing over and over again, right? And we're making sure we stay organized. So we added a zero the last time to show, okay, now I'm moving on with the number in the tens place. So now because I'm going to do the number in the hundreds place, well, I'm just going to add two zeros this time. So here's to show that I was doing the number in the tens place. And now here's to show that I'm doing the number in the one in the hundreds place. Okay, so coming back over here, going to change colors again. So I'm going to do the same thing as I usually do my multiplication. Everything has been pushed over here because I'm working with the one in the hundreds place. One times eight is eight. One times seven, seven. 1 times 9, 9, and 1 times 2, 2. And again, I know it's a lot of numbers, but we're making sure we're keeping things lined up. It's not a race, right? So however long it takes you to do it, if it, you need to talk to yourself to do it out loud, you need to um, whisper to yourself, you need to count on your fingers, whatever tools you need, make sure you stay organized and everything will be great. To the people who can do this in their heads, wow, you're amazing. <laughs> all right, now, same as usual, we're going to add this all together. All right, so 2 plus 0 plus 0 is 2. 6 plus 1 is 7. All right, so I have, uh, let's see, 9 
Well, I know 9 plus 9 is 18. Well, this is 17. Um, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. All right. Oh, I think I can make some groups here in my adding. Let's see, I have a 2 and a 1 up here. That's 3. I know 3 and 7 is 10. So 10 plus 9. Oh, there we go, 19. And then 9 plus 5. Let's see, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then one plus two, three. Wow, that was a lot of steps. But guess what? We're still not finished. Holy cow. All right, let's keep going. Reminding myself that I originally started off with this problem, 29 and 78 hundredths times 124. And again, same strategy as always. However many decimals are in the question, that's how many decimal places you have in the answer. So this number has two decimal places. This number has none, so two decimal places in the question, two decimal places in the answer, one, two. So the answer here is 3,692 and 72 hundredths. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.